You're Sophia Baker, right? Yeah. Uh, Alexander Novak, we're doing a history project together. Oh, right, you're that new kid. Um, listen, I was going to message you earlier. Really? Because uh, I couldn't help but notice that while other kids were meeting in their groups to discuss the project, uh, you were using the puppy dog filter on Snapchat to send pics to your friends. And how do you know what I was using? Lucky guess. Or because I know that when girls use Snapchat filters, 74% of the time, it's the puppy dog eyes. I'm sorry, what? Interesting. What's that? I thought that when we said we'd meet at two, you'd come exactly at two. Maybe even right down to the second. <laughs> well. The average student is 4 minutes and 33 seconds late, and I'm just trying to be average. So here I am. Come on in. Don't touch that. Why not? This is not for our project. Then why isn't here? It's my book. Your book? My life's work. You're 16. I doubt that at this age you can call something like that your this life's is, work. This is the book of life. You know, at my last school, I finally figured it out. How to succeed with friends, at high school, just, just everything. And so I wrote it all down, and I figured that since I moved here, it would be a great chance to try it out. It tells you how to succeed? Absolutely. For example, when football players wear formal wear before games, they roll up their collared shirt sleeves to a mean of 0.94 inches below the elbow. On the contrary, a cappella kids, in general, as they wear collared shirts 74.5% of the time, roll their sleeves up to 14 hundredths of an inch above the elbow, on average. <laughs> Rolling your sleeves 14 hundredths of an inch above the, or below the elbow or whatever is not how you're gonna make friends. Well, it's been working out pretty well so far. Maybe, so. but I guarantee you that not one of them thinks that statistics is how you're making friends. Have you ever even been to a party? If you pull that thing out, no one is going to talk to you. Let's make a bet. 20 bucks says, I can use my book to have more fun at a party than you. I choose the party. Do you know Emma Sullivan? This Saturday, her house. She said I could bring a plus one. It's a bet then. Are you ready? Is your book ready? Well, 82.5% of people go to the food table first, so I know where I'm going. What are you doing? It turns out the book of life isn't as comprehensive as I thought. Well, don't just stand here. I don't care if you try to use that book. Can you at least try to have fun? This is pathetic. Well, what do you expect me to do? Well, you could start off by- Sophia! Who are you talking to? I, I gotta go. Are you coming? Or can I go meet your friend? If you're really desperate, Emma's really thirsty. Well, you know, there's certain science to it. You should come over and teach me sometime. What's your name again? I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Should I just apologize or explain what's going on first? At my old school, I studied psychology, and we researched this guy named Richard Cornelius Eichenberg, and he was just a lonely old guy who wanted to fall in love, so he devised a method. 
And that's what we were talking about. So first, you surprised the person. Like when you ran after no me one from school. Then you show them something and pretend like it's some great secret. It's full of and, and after that, you just make them jealous. And but, you know, once I saw how upset you got over the book, I just couldn't do it. So what's my psych teacher like? Did the book work? I love it when you read to me. Why don't you check your book a Music in it. In fact, that's where.